Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to this session. In today's session, we're going to be reca recapping 11 trades. We had seven winning trades, four losses on the 6E. Now, I'm going to be running through uh, three trades that I should not have taken, and I was stopped out on all three. So the lesson from those three trades, which I'll show you, was you've got to remain focused. That is, I was distracted doing some other things as I was preparing for a coaching class, and I failed to check a couple of key, um, um, what's the word for it, a couple of key support resistance areas. Anyway, I'll show you those as we go along. So it was 437.50 on just two contracts. Now here, I trade two in my live trading room, and so I just fired off uh, these just before our coaching session. So $333, so $166 per contract. So what you'll actually see, my target is $150 a day per contract on this market on the 6E. Now, whether you trade uh, stocks, futures, um, uh, Forex, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter if you're trading the ES, uh, the uh, CL, gold. Look, the, the setups work on all markets and time frames. So I do need to get the disclaimer over and done with. So if there is a risk in trading, don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose. We won't be uh, doing any live trading naturally in this session, but and look, we just had a setup just now. Look, uh, we'll probably run out of time, but if we have any time, we'll, we'll jump over to some live trades or I'll show you some live setups. Uh, but otherwise, I want to try to keep this session to about um, 30 minutes. And as I've mentioned, you can day trade using any chart type. I'm In today's session, we're going to be looking at, um, uh, at Renko charts, but I love Renko, Tick. I don't use time-based charts myself, but you can use time uh, uh, range it really doesn't matter and of course the setups work on all markets and all time frames so if you haven't already you can request my free uh, training manual down below just click on the description link below and we'll get that out to you and also I'll be referring here to my compound income calculator this is very important for a new and experienced trader in setting some targets, in setting up your targets. So you can download my free compound income calculator along with a training video. It's the basic training video on how to actually use it. Okay, this is very, very important. Now with that, what I want to do is just run through what's a sensible and realistic goal when trading the 6E. Now the 6E is basically the Euro futures contract. It matches or models very, very closely the Forex cash market. So basically it's like having or like trading Forex, but it's a futures contract, which is put together by the CME. And the great thing about this market in using, uh, I should say in trading this futures contract is you've got a fixed commission rate. So rather than having flexible um, or spreads that can change, you've got a fixed commission. And typically it's around the $5 mark per trade, depending on your broker. And the value is $6.25 per tick. So I'll show you more on that in a moment. So first of all, um, let's set some targets and let's set realistic targets. So how do you target 500 to 10,000 a week starting with a small account? Well, first of all, if you're going to trade this market, uh, I recommend you have an account size of around between two thousand and two and a half thousand dollars is sort of ideal. And we can trade the, the yen, we can trade the pound, the euro and the Aussie dollar. They're sort of the three or the four best ones. Now, you know, you can trade the Aussie. The only challenge with the Aussie, it's $5 a tick rather than $6.25 a tick. Oh yes, and of course, if you remember, there's all sorts of spreadsheets you get here. And I never risk any more than 2%. Uh, in fact, I risk a lot less than that, but I recommend that you risk never any more than 2%, but that's a bit beyond what I want to cover today. But what I do want to show you is this. Now, in setting a realistic target, is I teach my members to look at if, for an example, if we went for four seven tick trades a day, after commissions, that's after net, we'd be up uh, to over 24 net ticks, that's $150 a day. 
now say if you uh, only want to trade part-time say an hour hour and a half and there's some it can be problematic at times when you're only going to trade an hour a day because certain times a day the market can be very quiet you're going to a sideways chop market so there, there are some challenges with that but if we look at this here so if your target is $100 per day per contract and before you go 100 bucks a day is that all well let me show you this $100 a day on this market is 16 ticks I don't have points it is called ticks so 16 ticks now if we go for $100 a day starting with two and a half thousand dollars we've got the potential within 19 weeks to be earning 10,000 a week and our account is now 61,000 but here's the great part about this the way I've put together this spreadsheet is is all sorts of things I see you know on the on Google on YouTube videos etc that I can show you how to get to a million dollars in 20 weeks but realistically you want to be trading with the markets money now even if you've got fifty a hundred thousand dollars start on a small account and build now if you don't have two and a half thousand you can of course start trading the micro ES or the uh, Dow or the uh, Nasdaq well you only need five hundred to twelve hundred dollars so you can start with a smaller account but here you only start trading two contracts once you double your money so in other words at the end of first week you've earned five hundred dollars and you can see the account building over here on the right once you uh, then hit 5,000 you can start trading two contracts and three and four and so forth so the way we build this is by using the markets money what you might do in reality let's just say if you've got 20 or thirty thousand dollars you might do this for a couple of months um, uh, get your feet wet you know get everything down pat then add some money to your trading account and start from there but um, uh, aim small miss small make all the mistakes you want to make on the simulator first then we get you started here that really is the best way now if you go for 20 ticks a day which is 125 a day and I love talking in ticks because it takes a bit of a psychological pressure away when you're not focused on the money but you can see here we've got the potential of hitting our 10 grand a week there within 14 weeks and what is sort of I say to all traders look if you're going to put in say two to three hours a day you can do and I'll show you this in a moment when we get to the live charts 150 a day okay is if you're putting in your good three hours a day um, uh, and that doesn't include your prep time now your prep time is what I call your hour of power where you're going through your marked up charts you're reading your trading plan and that sort of thing but as you can see here look where you are here in 10 weeks basically 11 weeks that is the true realistic potential as you'll see and so you'll see there with most of my videos with this market I'll go for and usually hit it within an hour or two if not quicker uh, 150 plus per contract so this is where it can get challenging for traders and I like to put this little slide up if you're new to day trading you've got to take baby steps at a time and that is I might go and show you in a moment I can't remember how many different types of trades but I've got a whole basket full of different trades for different trading conditions and circumstances but what's really important you start off with a very high probability strategy which is what I call the 2b and you build from there so baby steps you know I call it the Goldilocks rule not too easy not too hard just right and it depends on your confidence like you might be an experienced trader you might start off with a couple of my setups so it really just depends on your experience now before we get to the charts there's a couple of things here that we'll be referring to which are absolute critical to your success as a trader and in a way there's some of the, the best kept day trading secrets out there and yes you'll find different YouTubes where they'll cover one or more but all of these are very important in fact the top six really and I'll cover these ones very I just want to cover this briefly first of all floor pivots which are based upon your studies high low and the open so your floor pivots are a predictive leading indicator most indicators are what we call derivatives of price okay so if I'll plot and calculate on current price here we know in advance where we're going to go likewise with the prior days open high low and close now traders I've been doing this now 
day trading for 27 years and trust me these, these are the ones you want to learn like as you'll see when we get to the charts the open high low and close act as both support and resistance levels by the way pivot magnet trades or the t28 we call it uh, that's a good 85 to 95 percent trade okay and I'll show you that on the charts our major EMAs and that's where I made three terrible mistakes today uh, or when I read sorry it was actually last week when I um, took these trades and um, I'll, I'll show you what the mistakes were so you can learn from them and it's just about making sure you review your checklist on oil you got very special support resistance levels and in two more areas that are really important or support resistance your major and swing highs and lows for your current session and the current days high and low so where price action is that day now the overlay charts I won't go into now Fibonacci levels look I've put them on there and fib levels of course are not so much of a secret they've been around for <laughs> since year dot and since Fibonacci invented them um, but you can use them for retracement and extensions I don't I'll quite often plot them um, just to see and just as a matter of interest but I don't actually personally trade these myself now let's get to the charts and let's review some of these trades so first of all I just saw this one uh, early in the day and it wasn't quite midnight now I'm based down under at the moment and um, so uh, but the clock time here is central standard time on my computer so this is what we call a t3 uh, now t3 is a reversion to the mean trade and usually we don't have divergence now in this particular case this was a t12 where I was bouncing off a major EMA on my anchor chart too now I use three charts this is called my entry chart and this is only a one tick so on this market you can easily get away trading 90% of a day on only a one tick chart on the Renko uh, otherwise I'll jump up to a two tick so it'll be between a one and a two and the reason trading a two tick is so good is you can have a smaller stop loss because I love to put my stop losses just under my swing lows but in this particular case we were bouncing off for 200 EMA so the 200 EMA on a higher time frame was trending down and as you'll see this is where I um, had three trades that I shouldn't have taken so that was out for uh, eight ticks now when it comes to tick sizes and in fact did I still let me just open this for you and just show you this uh, here it is just here you might just be interested in this let me drag this over here just get rid of that just minimize this a bit okay so on the yen uh, eight ticks is fifty dollars okay now remember you're only after between 16 well of course you can go for a lot more between 16 and 24 ticks net so that's going to give you your 100 to 150 per day now bef now you know the unfortunate part is some would-be traders it's usually the ones that haven't been trading they'll scoff at that and say oh 100 to 150 days at all traders that's a four percent return per day on your capital you're using that's 500 a week on a two and a half thousand dollar trading account that's incredible okay and so the compound effect is huge now on a smaller time frame it means a smaller stop loss okay but realistically on this market um, we're going to be trading between a one and two tick what is the right time frame to trade by the way this market whichever is tradable meaning I will attempt for an example just now we just had a setup just here let me just show you this quickly now forget the MACD BB down the bottom here okay um, just something I'm, I'm working on strategy actually so we just uh, I've been going now for a few minutes but just here this is a 2b that's a 2b that's a 2b that was a 2b you still would have been in it and that's a 2b so um, all of those as you can see you would have romped your eight ticks in now 
over here this is um, a beautiful divergence trade here uh, but all of those and this is live on the one tick but the point I wanted to actually show you here on the one tick traders is you can see here it's just ticking away it's very tradable okay most of the time now when you get to the London session so this is now um, uh, 22 minutes past the hour central standard time so you can see it's just ticking away but when London opens in four hours time so you know usually will jump up to the two tick just to slow the charts down a little bit so that was a, a t12 we had there now here's a number of then and I snapped that one off but then I didn't do any further trading till over here now what I had here and I'm going to explain uh, as I said promised you the mistakes that I made with these trades as well because that's how you learn I call it black box thinking unfortunately what most traders do when they have a loss they cuss and curse and where's the next one and they usually go and revenge trade what's important is that you apply black box thinking to your trading what can I learn from that so I'll I don't want to say never do it again because I know I will one day do it again but I can minimize making the same mistake and so that's why having a trading journal is so important so here it just here we had a really nice 2b very simple to pick up the 2b's to learn very straightforward um, and up here it turned into a pivot magnet trade and I punched through by three ticks got my eight ticks now let me just explain something here when you're selling or buying like here this is the day's high into a pivot like these are the pivots that blue line down there quite often we will bounce and price action will bounce off it it can turn into resistance if we were selling down into this blue line the pivot that would be support what I want to do is when I sell or buy here into the day's high I want to get to break even as soon as possible and the reason being like you see here we rallied up and then we bounced off there for quite a deep pullback turned into a nice trade that I took so what you do if ever you're in front of it a uh, support resistance level you want to get to break even as soon as possible so if you do bounce just try to cover your commissions but here that was nice my target by the way on average is eight ticks now this is an interesting one up here this is what we call a t3 a t3 is um, see that there you've got a lot of angulation and let me just say this if you're a new potential trader what I'm talking about here is not rocket science it just takes going through the training understanding a few training classes and learning how this works okay don't let you know I'm talking about t3s and 2b's I just use abbreviations and just got a, a checklist of the names um, just to make it easier rather than putting um, a double bounce and all that so it just gets confusing so I just have uh, a little chart here of different abbreviations but anyway up here I had a, a, a t3 now to, down here this yellow line is my 34 EMA now I actually hit on this trade I actually hit plus four but I went to break even why quite often after this type of trade we bounce off it and you can get a trend continuation now sometimes I'll stay with it I'm just looking at the general momentum of the market at the time here at touch four I only got out of that trade with two ticks so covered the commission and picked up an extra tick now remember we're after our 24 ticks a day every tick counts now here I then have what I call a t10 now a t10 has been around for years it's also known as a kaching trade or a money on the floor trade and it's basically a market reversal trade and we see we come down we bounced up and reversed and I then um, sold straight down and picked up my eight ticks out of that one and this is the first error I had right here I'm going to show you this the mistake I made now up above me as you just saw a few minutes ago I have other charts I've got six screens so just there I sold looking to sell down to my 200 EMA your 200 EMA acts like a price magnet 
and usually when I break the 89 will usually come down and hit the 200 what I failed to do and I got the reversed and stopped me out straight away and in fact I missed out on a beautiful trade there I sold straight down into uh, where is it here straight into the rising 89 EMA on my anchor chart one and I got stopped immediately now I call that for me a rookie mistake so I was um, multitasking at the time and there's, there's so many studies that multitasking isn't as effective as what we like to think it is so I sold here had a beautiful entry by the way we call that a t20-1 and I bounced immediately so what was the error I sold into a major uptrending EMA on a higher time frame so not only did I have a loss then and I didn't get stopped out till up here but I then missed out on what would have been one of my classic 2b entries okay that was just a classic 2b so then a little uh, after I missed out after, uh, missed out on that one but then I had a 2b now with this uh, 2b up here um, this is trade 5 by the way of the day I was then targeting the high of the day I was targeting the high of the day and you can perhaps just see up here I actually got out right at the tick at the high of the day and that actually took about 25 20 minutes to actually hit that but that was my target out there so it was trade five now the next one here is um, ah, I took this trade here and this is one that I'll explain to you because this will be a great lesson remember I said to you that and let's go back to that PowerPoint for a moment uh, where is it so remember I said here that predictive indicators or price magnets are your floor pivots and your open high low and close or your major um, current days high and low so in this case what I had in front of me I had a beautiful uh, what I call a 34b I had the pivot in front of me a pivot and I had the days high now what I was looking to do was I was looking to tag the days high and then go to break even now what happened was I only hit the pivot and then I reversed instead of hitting the days high now what I should have done is still gone to break even but I got a little bit greedy as it I'll usually get to break even when I'm so close to these areas okay because we bounce off these every day now if this was down a bit lower that would have been a beautiful trade what we call a pivot magnet trade but here I missed the day's high and it come down and stopped me out would have could have should have there's so many things we we could have done here so I got stopped out on two lots eight contracts there and so um, uh, the lesson look but but some days it'll punch straight through so I was just waiting for it to, to go one tick high which didn't happen but anyway you're not gonna get them all so I'm not so grumpy with myself about that one but I'll show you one two over here that I am grumpy about still a week later okay so down here trade number seven I have another beautiful uh, 2b up to the height of the day uh, right to the tick as you can see just there okay now uh, let's now look at the other market so I was trading the yen now traders what I recommend I recommend as new traders um, you stick to one market only initially whether it be the micro s or the whatever market you're going to be trading okay now uh, as you gain experience then providing your account balance allows you to do that you can then start trading maybe two markets but you don't want to be trading too many but what you need to remember is if you're trading the yen and the 6e you really want to be allowing two and a half thousand per contract now I talk to my members about risking this is where a lot of traders don't want to hear this they want to be able to get in there and bet 5% of your account on a trade and they wonder and want to keep blaming everyone else for the errors of their ways now it's time for those traders to put their big boy pants on that is 
you've got to minimize your risk you are your own fund or heads hedge fund manager so you can only really start trading multiple markets if you've got the account size to handle so if you've got two or three trades open at that time now but here's the issue the challenge that I had and the error I made here so I had a uh, beautiful well what appeared to be uh, was what we call 3b just here now that blue line in front of me uh, that navy line it's actually the prior days open so I expected a little bit of um, uh, bounce there uh, and what happened there then let me just think got in got, got out actually maybe I didn't um, maybe they weren't so I'm just looking here uh, entry entry I'm pretty certain I had I got hammered on look oh look I actually I think what happened was I oh, know I did have a that was a break even that's right so both of them I think um, uh, one of them was a break even and one was a couple of ticks I've marked them up as losses so it wasn't quite that bad but the fact is though let me show you the, the error that I made so I bought into a downtrend in 200 so what I've got just here to show you just here is ah uh, now where's the uh, uh, anchor chart to let me just uh, so I'd have a I'll just show you this so just quickly set it up here for you so what I would have had there is a four tick of set by two because this is very important so let me just start uh, sorry everyone let me just pause this for one moment okay I got it up now just ignore some of these indicators here it's just a bit messy just wanted to quickly show you this so I entered two trades here uh, without consulting the higher time frame and see this line here that's the 200 EMA and with both of those trades I ran straight into the 200 in fact I should have been shorting at that time so remember on this checklist I said you've got to consider the major EMAs there are certain EMAs that on every time frame you bounce off and it's just after years and years of experience I just notice one after another hey why do we always bounce at these points and I just call it a t12 and so what I failed to do as I was multitasking I failed to check my higher time frames now I then entered this trade down here and that white line you can see there that's the prior days high now thankfully with most trading platforms and this is nt8 and I give you all my indicators as I mentioned but with them um, if you become a member but with uh, nt8 all of these plot automatically okay so um, the open high low and close of a prior day and all of this so it makes it a lot easier with my trading now down here I got in got out and got back in so actually I think it was one loss there so it wasn't quite as bad but I scalped but I bounced but I shouldn't have been in those trades in fact I should have been selling there and there now I then jumped in on this trade now I jumped in a little early I should have actually waited see the white paint bar I call that the super scalper so you'll see the super scalper on my charts I should have waited for that and had my stop under there instead I entered a little bit early and I thought well I'm going to have my stop under here so it still meant I only needed an eight tick stop and that was a nice winner thank you very much now overall then if we go back and just consider this so overall traders um, was still $166 but uh, so actually it wasn't quite for four losses there it was I think uh, one less than that and a break even but the point is traders you've got to be focused when you are day trading look if you know your stuff and if you know for an example the um, uh, you 2b setup which is a good 80 to 85 percent setup you know you're just looking for those you can trade two markets very comfortably it's easy to learn now how do you actually master that a day trading come and join me that is for 197 dollars uh, you get my entire program over 15 plus day trading strategies 200 hours of online um, training 
but guess what you don't have to do all of those okay there's now over 38 power points it's the most comparable there's nothing else like it this is a ten thousand dollar program for 197 dollars but on top of that I also give you you can come and join me in eight of my live coaching sessions so I run a couple of rooms I run a live trading room and I love I love I, I love it yes I love that too but I run a live coaching room so that's where I coach members and teach them the setups now for $197 you can attend it's a private group is typically 100 and 150 traders there from all around the world uh, that runs from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time but it's recorded if you can't attend and I include eight of those so effectively I'm explaining set up step by step my different setup step by step okay and all of the other things trading psychology I've got hypnotherapy sessions I've had recorded for oh look there's just a ton of stuff there um, now after the one month or after uh, four weeks or eight sessions if you wish you can then opt in so you've got to say yes I want to come in so it's not automatically charged for $97 a month you can continue to attend my coaching sessions now just so you know on the coaching sessions um, I think as I mentioned traders uh, I've been doing this for 27 years and with the coaching I've been running it for years so for an example if we looked here in March 2023 this week uh, um, I've got session one and here are the handouts we have okay we go through how to set up your time frames income targets um, handouts the 2b it's just a ton of stuff so you can see I've been doing this a long time and I've got as I mentioned um, no maybe I didn't mention I've got over 10,000 courses have now been sold and I've got hundreds in my live room and in the coaching room so traders um, make sure you subscribe to my channel better still come and join me it'll be the, the best investment you've ever made if I could show you how to earn two to three thousand a week what would that be worth to you certainly a great deal more than 197 so traders I look forward to seeing you in my coaching classes or in my next video thank you